guys welcome back to my channel coming to you live and direct from Davenport Florida we are at the Airbnb where we're staying um, I will include a walkthrough quick tour for you this is an amazing Airbnb um, eight bedrooms God, a million bathrooms a game room level, these two amazing massage chairs that have me and I spy wanting to get rid of the couch in the second bedroom. It's like a sectional. And where's my mom gonna sleep when she visits? <laughs> because it is amazing. We have both fallen asleep in that chair. It has 15 minute sessions. I, in two days, I probably did 12 and I think I'm gonna do a couple of more before we check out later today. We are the only ones here. We came late. Um, I Spy's uh, cousins wanted to get everybody together, but we could not get off of work and we could not get here till Monday. So they were here like from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and we missed the crowd. They left Sunday because kids have school and the host, um, they left about maybe an hour ago. They have an early flight and we're going to be here for the next four days. We're staying, we're checking out of here today and going to the Universal Orlando area and staying at a hotel for the next four days. So these finds are from a Dollar Tree near the airport where I pick up the rental car. There's a Dollar Tree right across the street. I went to two Kissimmee locations and there happens to be a Dollar Tree like five minutes away. So that's Davenport. So let's get into it. I also did Pop and Dollar General, but they had no Christmas out. All the fall stuff that I've showed you in previous hauls. So if you wanted to see that, I do have several Dollar General fall walkthrough videos and hauls. So that should be in my video selection. But let's get into it. I'm excited to see uh, what the other Dollar Trees where I, I we were here for our anniversary in March. And there's a DD's discount over there. And in the parking lot, there's a Dollar Tree, there's a rainbow shop. So I can't wait to get over there and uh, see what they have, okay? And it looks like they got their trucks either yesterday or the day before because they were unpacking and putting things out on the shelf. So I have tons of peed socks and I have tons of socks, but I wasn't sure if I've seen these before. This is the three pair blister free low cut shoe sizes five to ten, um, four way stretch system, high denier ly lycra and spandex, enhanced fit panel, not just a sock, a second skin. So I wanted to see what this is all about. Probably should have got two, only got one. Okay, I only wear socks when it comes to work, you know, and then if I'm wearing certain sneakers. If I'm wearing my slip-on sneakers, I don't. But um, I have tons of socks, but I wasn't gonna leave those behind. Sticking with apparel, they have started putting out hats. And I don't remember my local Dollar Trees putting out hats last year. And here it is, Florida, that has a much warmer climate. They have hats, so I don't know what that's about. But I got one for I Spy. He loves these. I don't know if he loves them, but he wears them. And I got the black snugger do socks. Just if I wanted to be walking around because this floor is all tile. So didn't use them yet, but I did get these. And that's it in apparel. Um down the car section, I was looking for the bling um auto start ring that goes around your auto start, but somebody chimed in on one of my previous videos and says don't get it. It messed up people's cars where they couldn't start their cars. They had to have their cars towed. I don't know. That was enough for me. I'm no longer looking for that. Um, but they did have these. This is a Sense Odor Absorbing Charcoal um, Sack. And the rental cars, okay? We're on our second rental car. When we came in, our flight was delayed Monday night. We didn't arrive to our Florida till nine o'clock. Had to go get the rental car. And instead of giving me what I rented, she decides to upgrade me to this Jeep Wrangler. It had such a horrible smell in it. I didn't like it. Um, also, the windows, for whatever reason, stayed like foggy. 
even with the defrost and you had to turn the defrost on high heat in order to clear the windows if you didn't the windows wouldn't be cleared. We couldn't see. It's dark. We don't know where we're going. We had an hour drive from the rental car. I really should have turned around and went back then. But I came all the way here. We got all the way here, but I just wasn't happy. Even yesterday during the day, I was saying, just suck it up. It's just to get from point A to B. You know, it's sporty looking. You never drove a Jeep before. Just keep it. Even in the daytime, guys, the window stayed foggy. It's hot. And I had to turn the, the defrost on heat like it's winter. I said no and the smell was just it was like a must I don't know if, if it was just horrible this car we got when I went back this morning I called them they said bring it back an hour drive back um she said to me well why didn't you I'm gonna give you what you rented why didn't I you know she act like the woman was doing me a favor by upgrading me and um, even this car has an odor in it. I don't know what it's about. Maybe a lot of people smoke in the cars and they, whatever air fresheners they use to try to disguise it is not it. So I bought two of these, one to take home, but I put one in the rental and I, I think it kind of works guys. I don't know if I'm used to the smell now, but I think it kind of works. So be on the lookout for this, okay? Said all that to show you that. They had these padlocks. Now, I just recently hauled one, but the one I hauled wasn't this long. So this would be good, like, for my shed. I also have a patio storage bench, okay? Um, yeah, I'm going to try to spray it with something to waterproof it until I can get a waterproof lock. But um, this longer handle, my Dollar Tree, well, Kingston, I found it. It had a shorter one. So this is the first time I've seen this one, so I picked it up. Um, for cosmetics, I forgot my makeup. Um, bad habit lately, packing right before we leave, the day we leave. And I had it sitting next to the suitcase. And I guess I was waiting to put more stuff in and then add it, but I guess rushing. Um, <clears throat> I forgot it. I spy thinks I did it on purpose so I could go on this Dollar Tree extravaganza because I had to get my foundation from Walmart. That's, that's not it. I really honestly did not do that on purpose. But... I picked up a mascara from La Masseur, okay, and I've hauled this and I've never used this, but it was just right in front of me. It wasn't a lot of cosmetic selection here. I picked up a lash glue liner from Ioni um, because my lash glue was in my bag, um, but I had another bag that had a lash glue liner in it. so. They, I'm still seeing these around. For the first time, I seen a Milani lipstick. None of my stores ever got Milani. And they're calling this matte flirty. It's kind of like a plum color. Okay. Maybe a little bit lighter than plum. But it was the only color option they had. And I wasn't going to leave it behind. Because I don't have my setting powder. And I have tons of this at home. This is from Be Pure, Essentially Ageless. Um, this is a blurring pressed powder, and this is awesome. My mom uses this as well. I give her from my stash if her Dollar Tree doesn't have it. Happy that this is still around, and I love it. It only comes in two shades, though. That's my only criticism. Another pressed powder from Be Pure that I like is this, and this is translucent, okay? And I do have this at home as well. Um, I like it. It's translucent. It provides a smooth matte finish, sets makeup, and controls shine. This stuff is awesome as well. Dollar twenty-five. I did bring makeup wipes, but just in case, I picked up these from Pons. You only get ten. It's a makeup remover facial wipe, purifying refresh. So I did pick those up. Um, and I had to get some brushes, so. I have this brush. This is one of, I think, a Colormate brush. I'm not sure. And I thought I had the other brush, guys. I don't want to rumble through the back, but I think I got another makeup brush from Dollar Tree. So I already started using this. And that's it from Dollar Tree in the cosmetic section. From the bath section, they had this Bodycology Beautiful Blossoms Bath Balm. And it has like dried flowers in the center. 
I smell a little bit. It smells good. I can smell it through the packaging. So this is going to be a gift basket toss in. Um, so I did get that. Um, for I Spy, for his hair, I got him, I wasn't sure if he packed some, so I got him some moisturizer for his hair. They had all of the new Delta soaps, and I was going to get the cinnamon clove, but I put it back. To me, it, it has the same similar scent as the pumpkin spice, but it does smell really good. I love the scent of cloves. I decided to get the toasted coconut, and this is just for us, because the hotel rooms, they don't really give you... A hand soap they give you bar soap and I just think you know using the same bar soap to wash your hands all the time I don't know I just don't get the concept of how that's clean but um, I did get the toasted coconut and if we leave this behind we leave it behind it smells okay because oh this smells like coconut really get the coconut scent so they had the crisp apple the cinnamon clove and they had the pumpkin spice and they had this one these have never made it near me my locations they just restocked the old ones that they gave and they gave us pumpkin spice so they gave us something another hand soap that i have never seen before is from personal care i really don't do foam soaps but this is the only option it's limited edition frosted cranberry foaming hand soap and it does smell really really good so i picked that up and the pump and the design is giving me like the Bath and Body Works pump hand soaps. So be on the lookout. They did have a pine one, but I wasn't interested in that one. And air freshener for the bathroom. These work with the Airwick dispenser pumps, but I just got this for the bathroom, you know, for, for us to use while we're here. I'm not going to bring this back with me. So just got this one. Picked up some super glue because I did my nails, but I use the, um, these are Kiss Nails. They really last, guys. These will last me two weeks, okay? Um, definitely if I use this glue. However, I didn't feel like coming downstairs and looking for where I put this, and I assumed I had a super glue. I really probably put it in my makeup bag. I know I packed super glue. Um, this one that says it's good for nails. And disclaimer, I don't know if I told you guys at the start of this video, one of the smoke detectors in one of the upstairs bathroom bedrooms needs to be changed. This is the first night that I'm hearing it. We have not heard it. And that's, I'm glad we didn't choose that bedroom because we had options of which room we wanted. Um, Cause there was, this is an eight bedroom house. That would have drove me crazy. So I am gonna leave a note for the Airbnb owner I can't make it any quieter. I closed the bedroom door. Down here is like an open concept to the upstairs area, so it's no way for me to fix it. So um, if you hear it and it annoys you, it's out of my control. This is not my house. It's an Airbnb. I'm not sure if I told you guys in the beginning of the video. But yeah, so I always use the one that says it's safe for nails, but this is the kiss nail glue that's holding these on for now but being that we're going to be in the water a lot really should have went with this glue but we'll see how this holds up um shipping labels now i could not find these by my dollar tree in new york i used to love these okay now you're getting 20 labels i think previously we probably got less but they had a sticker on the back of them that you can just peel and stick it on the package that sticker has been taken away and you're just getting a blank white piece of paper. That's why I said, if you watched my last haul, I just bought index cards, which are thicker than this and flipped them and wrote the address on the index card because I had to ship my mother something. Um, why'd you buy the America? I don't know. I just bought them. I really wish they would give us the sticker back. If they gave us the sticker back, had I known they were going to take away the sticker, I would have racked up before they did the change. And that's why with Dollar Tree, when you see something you like, you gotta, if you really, really like it and you wanna have it in your life for some time, sometimes you have to stock up because you just don't know something could change and disappear on you. So yeah, shipping labels. Um, Money holders. Now, I don't know who's getting money <laughs> in this economy, but you probably could personalize these and make Christmas cards out of them. I just thought it was cute. 
um, money holders with envelopes. Even if you only give two people, you know, a little something and just save them, put them with your Christmas decorations and you'll have them. I mean, look how cute this is. You've been extra good this year. You get eight, so. I've never seen the money holders from Dollar Tree. They could have had them, but because I'm not giving out any money, I never noticed that. Speaking of Christmas, they had, and I didn't know how dusty these cans was. Ooh, I did not know how dusty these were. They must have pulled these out of the bottom of the stock room. These cans are dusty, y'all. Is it, or is it the plastic on it? It's a little dust on it. I don't know what this is about. I like the Victor Allen's coffee. Let me see if I see a Best Buy date now. Okay, before January 2025. These cans will be washed before I open them, especially the lid area, because these are dusty. Oh. I don't know what that's about, y'all. So, the Peppermint Mocha Iced Coffee from Victor Allen's. I bought three. It's a limited edition. I'm just looking at the packaging, guys. Um, yeah, limited edition iced coffee. They will be washed, those cans. And I found these, and I've seen people hauling them, and I don't know, I picked the two dentist cans out the pack. And these were just came in, and I personally open the plastic seal. You know how they have the beverages and that cardboard and then they wrap it with plastic. And I guess I was just rushing because I was somewhere I wasn't supposed to be. So this is the Triple Shot Energy Extra Strength, 225 milligrams caffeine, um, ginseng, B vitamins. It's an energy coffee beverage and flavor is caramel. Look at this can, y'all. Can y'all see the dents? Mm -mm -mm. So I picked these up. It has oh, 29 grams of sugar, 10 grams of protein, 3 grams of fat, sodium is 200. I got it. Speaking of coffee, wasn't expecting to see these. I have seen people hauling these, but I don't know. I really feel like I've seen them hauling different flavors. I don't know how this is going to taste, guys, but I got this mainly gonna try one for me and then two for uh, Christmas gifts so this is four single serve cups K cups of the Harry and David's coffee I love the vanilla cream brulee I wish I can find that one but for a gift basket you can combine these K cups with the bagged coffee that Dollar Tree has to make the basket fuller okay 125 each a nice mug really really nice so uh, yeah four K cups so I did try it, and it's hazelnut, praline, and cinnamon. I don't know, but I got it, so I'm going to try it. If it's nasty, I'm not going to give it for gifts. I'll exchange it, you know. But then define nasty. We all have different tastes. Um, for Chunk, I got him this Black Panther bag. You get two bags. It's the Avengers 2-pack. So one says Wakanda Forever. And then the other side is just an action shot. I don't know if he knows who Black Panther is. I don't know if his parents let him see the movie, take him to the movie. I definitely would have. It was an awesome movie. And, um, yeah, I really enjoyed both of them. Um, so, I got him that. I'll put that probably in his Halloween package. And we're getting down to my favorite finds of all. And I was going to attempt to test this for you guys. I don't have a small screwdriver with me because it's a screwdriver holding them in. These are the LED projectors. And as soon as I seen these last week on the YouTube streets, I was like, OMG, I hope I find them. Um, Christmas projectors. And it looks like from the picture on the box, it's different color ornaments. So it's a snowman, a bell. Uh, a tree, a stocking, a present, a sleigh, and just like those disco lights, I'm assuming that it projects those images. So I bought three, okay? Really, really cool. I was so happy, and it looks like, no, it has a snowflake too. 
So it, I don't know if they give you the same colors. I was thinking if you bought green, it's going to be green things. If you bought red, it's going to be red things. But on the stock photo, I will try to screenshot it and put it on the screen for you. It looks like it's different colors. So I hope it moves around. That would be really, really fun. And then I got, I know these are annoying y'all. The, uh, <laughs> the light and sound snowman. I didn't find the singing to be annoying. I thought it was actually cute. Um, Santa Claus would drive me crazy. That repetitive ho, 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 Merry Christmas, ho, ho, ho. At least they're singing a Christmas carol. But again, I think they want you to add the batteries. They ain't playing. They want you to add the batteries. Yes, you need two AAA batteries. So I guess they said, you know what? To save money, buy your own batteries because almost everything you have to buy your own batteries. So this is the haul. I did pop in Dollar General, like I said. Um, I picked up this um, highlighter palette from LA Colors. I'm not really getting the highlight. I'm getting a little... I'm not really... <laughs> I wouldn't buy this again. Um, it's a LA color show it off blush and highlight. Okay. So it was what was available. Some razors. These were a dollar. Um, tweezers. They were a dollar. And I, I found some tweezers. And they have eyelash glue. Okay. From Kiss. This was $2. And they had a 50% off table. I didn't want to be empty handed you know, because I was rushing. I wanted to put together like a hostess gift for um, his cousin's wife, um, you know, because they hosted this. Ran out of time, guys. I have so many nice things that I could have put together. Ran out of time. Um, so when the Dollar General, you know, it's sun, it's hot here. So I got him a black hat like this. I got this one for I Spy. These were 50% off. So this was 250 and they had these vacation hats, y'all. So I'll show you a picture of the ones I gave her. I let her pick which one she bought, I bought four. So these were normally $6 on sale for three, 50% off. And their daughter, I got just a sun visor, like the one I wear, the one you could roll up in um, store, that was 250. So bought four of these hats. I let her have the leopard ones. One is solid black with the leopard ribbon and the other one was this khaki color with a leopard ribbon. Ribbon. She loves animal print. So I wanted to give them something to thank them for inviting us. Look at the pearl detail. And then they had this plain khaki one, okay? So I got those two. And that's, this, this is it. This is all of my finds, guys. This is from one day. Four Dollar Tree locations and Dollar General. And I did pop in Walmart. I was looking for that dollar spot. Didn't find it. Um, and it was a list created by someone. It wasn't Walmart putting out this information, but they said that they gave a list with all of the states that had Walmart dollar spots. And it just named a town. It didn't give you a location. It's not that serious. So I had already ex overextended my outing. So... I wasn't going to do that, you know, to take a chance to see if there really was a dollar spot there. But this is it. So we're checking out later today and going to the other side, about an hour away to Universal Orlando. And uh, we will see what goodies we can find. And I definitely will share. Um, I don't want to be repetitive and show you things we've seen. I only want to show you the new. So uh, we shall see. Okay, so thanks for rocking with your girl. If you're new, subscribe. I'd love to have you from returning subscribers. Thanks for coming back. I will see you guys in the next video. Okay guys, right off of the entrance, they have a bedroom. Um, just the bedroom, it does not have an attached bath. That's why I did not choose this room. There is a bathroom 
outside immediately but it's kind of in the hole and it would be used by other people um everybody else has checked out and once you check out the instructions were to leave towels in the shower and the linen on the bed so uh, if you see the bed's not made that's because that room was previously occupied and uh the guests have checked out and did as they were instructed here is the laundry room they did include some towels for the pool um this uh particular airbnb has a private pool and hot tub outside and a small patio area but here is the grand space this space is perfect for large families this kitchen is equipped with everything that you need um this big beautiful island the refrigerator the latest and greatest um here is a living room with the large sectional um large tv the tv stand is my favorite because you guys know i love a fireplace and it does give off heat not only is it a tv stand but it's a fireplace and heater it's absolutely amazing um this dining room has table seating for 10 um they left some beautiful cloth napkins uh, right straight ahead also there's extra seating right here and straight ahead these patio doors lead to the swimming pool here is the master bedroom again it was occupied by the host i spy's cousin and his wife they left here is the master bath with a large spa tub separate shower and also separate toilet that door straight ahead leaves leads to the patio and pool um so yeah we're gonna head on upstairs again this is a large airbnb guys um perfect for large groups and much more affordable but let's go upstairs and i will show you that level that's where we're staying So when you came up the stairs, guys, they have that shuffleboard table, a full-size pool table, a sectional, a massive TV with a PS5, and these chairs. These massage chairs are the bomb.com. I felt like I was cheating on iSpy. This machine touched me in places. Oh, and it even does your feet. It has the kneading things that roll with your feet it squeezes your calves it gets your whole body even your arms those pads up there get your arms i googled this chair it's over three grand and they have two of them i've been waiting all day to get in this chair and i'm about to um here's a bedroom here up here is five bedrooms up here this is an eight bedroom house guys this is a room that somebody stayed and they left so we didn't pick this room okay and it has oh yeah it has its own private bathroom here's the closet and it has its own bathroom it's so many bathrooms as well guys shower toilet sink hello king size bed this is great for families now I would have chose this room but I walked right past it. Last night when we got in, babe, I'm calling you babe. <laughs> when I got in, guys, last night when we got here, it was after 10 o'clock. I passed right by this room. I would have chose this room. Again, has your closet, your bathroom. I believe it has a double sink. We took our showers in here because our room has a tub and I, I prefer a shower. So that's our mess. But shower, toilet, double vanity, king size bed. Doesn't have a TV, but we really don't watch TV like that. And look at that chandelier. And that's downstairs. Um, they have themed bedrooms for the kids. Here's a room with four bunk beds. Disney theme. 
He has a bathroom. And the bathroom doors are sliders. Double vanity. Huge closet. It also has a laundry room downstairs. Well, this is a utility closet used for something. Here's another bedroom. I didn't even see this bedroom before. So this bedroom, some of the kids that were here with family stayed in this room. Look at the wall, minions. I didn't even see this bedroom. So that's one, two, three, four. Our room is five, six bedrooms up here. Three downstairs, so it's nine bedrooms. And this is the house that I sent him the link on Airbnb that they chose. A frozen room. And it has a Jack and Jill bath. Guys, here's our room, just king size bed, bathroom, basic. Overall, this was a very, very comfortable stay. Everybody had their space. Nobody's on top of each other, but you still can be together. In addition to the private pool in the back, this place, you have access to the clubhouse that has a zero entry pool. It has water slides. It has a lazy river. It has miniature golf. It has a bar and a restaurant, a game room. This place is simply amazing. And when you want to stay away from the crowd at the Airbnb, they had a private pool, hot tub, patio. Simply amazing. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I do have another vacation Dollar Tree haul. I'm not sure if I'm going to add a walkthrough because these stores are pretty regular, regular. But I'll see you guys in the next video.